wakes up one morning and decides to file for divorce? One, you beg her. Two, you let her go. After all, she must have taught it through. Three, you fight her. I didn't say fight for her, I said fight her. Screaming my name so loud, I thought you had something important to say. Hey, I, 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 I was, I was. I, I guess not then. Well, I'll be expecting your full cooperation during the divorce process. My lawyer will be in touch. <laughs> Please. If you thought I would fight her, you thought wrong. When your wife decides to walk out of your life, especially if you know that your life would be miserable without her, you beg her and you do it like your life depends on it. <laughs> Baby, please don't leave me. Let us talk, or I'm really going to leave. You have so much control over me, and that's not fair. It is not control, it is love. You love me. If you know that much, then why are you doing this to me? Why are you? Calling for a divorce of all things. We've come to a point where we want different things. No. No 
so much that we cannot compromise. We have worked through things, so why not this one? Well, your definition of compromise is me giving it to you. It is not fair. And it is not happening this time. You don't have to say it like that. We have always compromised for each other. It's just this time... This just... time! I am never giving up. I want kids of my own, Alvin. Not like you, I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to change your mind. But you didn't want kids before. What should what change? I changed. I changed. And you did not. I cannot force you to want the same thing that I do. I want the same thing that you want. Coco, I do. Yet you refuse to see a marriage therapist. Oh, jeez. Because there's nothing wrong with us. Why do we have to see a shrink when there's nothing wrong with it us? It is not a shrink, for goodness sake. It is someone who can help us identify the problems in our home. Problem. <laughs> a problem. We do not have a problem, for God's sake. You know what? This conversation isn't leading anyway. I am done. Wait, hey, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait. Fine, fine, fine. We are. Uh... We see a shrink. A marriage therapist. Whatever it is. But on one condition. Which is? Lord knows that I would die if I walked through that gate of that mental clinic. So whoever they are, they need to come here. Fair enough. I should be able to find someone who offers home service. One more thing. Alvin. One more thing. What? You will not do something a city as leave in this house ever again. I'll think about it. That's not good enough. Fine. <sighs> Baby, 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 come on, baby, 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 come on, baby, come on. What? I said I would stay. I didn't say I would share a room. Come on, baby. You know, you know I can't sleep without you, right? Hmm? I, I've not done it in years. And to think that we are in the same house. Come on now. You'll be fine. What do you mean I'll be fine? Because you'll be fine. What else do you want me to say? What I want you to say is that you will stop this madness. And then you will carry this bag, go back into the master bedroom and sleep in the bed with your husband. No, that will not happen. At least not until we have sorted out whatever this is. Come <laughs> now. Don't do this to me. Can you just go to bed, baby, please? Baby. Huh? Wait, wait. What, 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 what did you just say? I said you should go to bed. No, no, no. The last part, like what you said, like go to bed, what? Baby. Oh my God. <sighs> it feels good that I'm back to the baby so <laughs> You know, honestly, I was scared to think that you were still calling me by my name. Having. With a coat on. Have it, have it, have it. Stop, stop, it's fine. Just go to bed, okay? We'll have okay. an early start tomorrow. Alright, I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed. Hey. Can, can I. Can I. Can I get a good night kiss?
No. Go to bed. Uh. <sighs> Good night, baby. Good night, baby. Good night, baby. Good night, baby. Good night, please. Good night, baby. Baby. Good night. I can't sleep without you. Uh. Okay, okay. Marvin, behave yourself. Good night, baby. Just a smile, and there's no way back. There is a charming beauty calling me, reaching for for my heart. There is an angel standing next to me. Just a smile. And there's no way back. There is a charming beauty calling me, reaching for for my heart. Never knew that love could feel so good, like once in a lifetime. You changed my. Everything is okay because the love we share is true. Never knew that love could feel so good like once in a lifetime. You changed my world. Now everything is okay. Oh, babe. Why are you sleeping here? I couldn't sleep. Just say you wanted to make sure I didn't run away. Well, that too. But I can't sleep when you're not there. Really? Yeah. So how did you cope all those while you were on your numerous business trips? Babe, come on. Mm -hmm. Tell me. I didn't sleep. I couldn't. Anyway, if you made it this far, why didn't you just come in? Because I know you wouldn't like it. True. But this... This I don't like either. You're making me feel like a terrible wife. Oh. Terrible. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're... Alvin. I'm not faulting you. But I just want all of this to be over as soon as possible so we can just get back to our normal lives. Me too. When is a shrink arriving? Again, not a shrink. But she'll be here in about two hours, so go freshen up while I fix us breakfast. Baby. Don't do that. Come on, baby. Clear this, I... please. Don't. Baby. Just clear this. 
There is a charming beauty calling me, reaching for for my heart. There is an angel standing next to me, just a smile, and there's no way back. There is a charming. Beauty calling me, reaching for, for my heart. There is an angel standing next to me, just a smile, and there's no way back. There is a charming beauty calling me, reaching for, for my heart. There is an angel. I was only checking. Checking what? If I still make you tremble. There's an knock on the door, so I'll get it. Mr. and Mrs. Onora? Yes. Sir. Yes, that's right. Diola Davis, relationship therapist. Well, I'm Alvin. It's a Coco. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Please have a seat while I get um, you. Actually, I'd like a tour of the house, if you don't mind. Uh, it helps me understand my clients a little better. Uh, one of the perks of home service. Um, I'm not quite your conventional therapist. <laughs> sure. Awesome. Yeah, why don't you keep your bag and I give you a tour? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Lovely decor, by the way. <sighs> Thank you. Finally, someone who appreciates my work. I never said it was bad. And you never appreciated it either. I never said it was bad. You I can we just So, how did you first meet? We, we met through my cousin. And my best friend. Interesting. So, um, what was your first impression of each other? Was it love at first sight? 
Oh, hell no. Well, maybe for me, it was to. You. Please. Ugh. This guy was a major heartbreak her back in the day. He knew absolutely nothing about love. Well, maybe it wasn't love at first sight. But it was definitely something at first sight. Mm -hmm. Of course. It was you wanting to get into my panties at first sight. Wow. Do you really have to make me feel bad at the first chance you get? Did I lie though? No, like always, you just want to make me feel bad. That's a simple question. <laughs> no, it's not about a simple question. It is. You always want to make me feel bad. That's interesting. Um, I'd like to hear the story, if you don't mind. No, you mean story, you mean about how we met? Yes, Alvin. I can address you on first name basis. I hope. Sure. Can we also address you the same way? Absolutely. Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to hear the beginning of the story. Alvin, you first. I had a life that many men my age at the time would have considered an interesting life. And it was to some degree. But I got bored easily. And the less excited it became, the more highs I craved. Cousins came to visit. Uh, <laughs> cousins. Yes, they're loud. So what are they? Can I meet them? Oh, no, 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 never. I, 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 I think it's better if we go to uh, a convenient place where it could be just above us, you know, so we can spend time together. Um, I can introduce you to them later. Is that fine? All right, you yeah. say so. But yes. uh, so, um, you know what? Let me just. Uh, let me, let, me, let me tell them that I, my baby's here, but I'm going out with you. And then I'll be back soon, eh? Guy, how far? How far? How far? What's going on? Oh, yeah, no. It's in. Ah. <laughs> Why you leave lock room? Look, entire house. Yeah, bro, 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 it's not a good time, okay? Some other time. Not right now. Good time. Ah! Wait, then. Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Calm down, see? Uh, they go to your house, I'll go check on you later. Bro, they go to your house, I'll go check on you. I'll go see you later, man. How far, guy? How far? I did, my guy. Ah, you feel they come here today? Eh, uh, I'm not sure if Safi may come today, but I will try tomorrow. <laughs> like, did the body girl hold you for work? <laughs> nah, not be like that. Oh, well, it, it, it's, it's, it's not like I'm complaining, Sha. You know, I'm not complaining. Uh, because Bonnie being at your place is a good thing for me. It's a win for me. <laughs> Annie! Hold on. Where did you say the big pot is? 
Okay, I'm coming. Okay, we'll talk later. Uh, oh, looks like I'm beginning to run off of him. I see. I'm Coco, Annie's cousin. Coco? Come in. Hey, motherfucker. Hello? Why did you tell me you have such a pretty lady as your cousin? Where are you? I beg, I beg, I beg. Where do you think? Hello? Guy. So what is it about you that made my cousin want me around you? He said that. He didn't have to. I just figured that there must be something about you that made him not let you in here the last time you came. <laughs> um, I guess I have some records with them girls. Interesting. Uh, what kind of record, if I may ask? I could uh... Maybe. I could show me. If you allow me. Hey. Alvin, outside. Now. <laughs> Guy, what's in the work you know? Bro, what do you think you're doing now? Calm down. What do you mean? What, do you what the do? fuck do you think you're doing with my Calm cousin? Down. What do you mean? What the fuck am I doing with your cousin? I wasn't doing anything. Okay, come on. She's not a kid. I was not harassing her. Come on. You, 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 I saw it in the eyes that she liked me, and I, I was just no, 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 no. You do not get to do that with her. To me. To you. What do you mean? Listen, the only reason I have tolerated your exercise all these years is because you're my best friend. Even when you went, I had to sleep with the one girl I liked in the university. I overlooked it. We didn't like you back. Okay, she was a slut. I was trying to, 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 to manage your emotions yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 whatever. I have never judged your lifestyle before and I would not start now. Okay, what's wrong? But you see Coco, you see that girl? She's off limits. If you as much as lay your finger on her, bro, we're done. You hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't even know why you're just wrecked up. Why, 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 why? Calm down, bro. Good. I'm work out. Relax now. Where they go now? We don't talk, we don't talk. I don't clear you with time, no. This thing is going to go. Okay, it's fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's fine.
Yep, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey. I'm waiting in the swap now. Ah, how far? No, no, no. So long, I'm just something there. Eh, then I'll give you a bath. No. Ah, you do bath? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Coco. Hi, Alvin. Uh, make yourself comfortable. All right. Thank you. Finally, your guy. <laughs> I had you to come to my place. Uh, well, that's because you assured me that you had cleansed the slaughterhouse. Or oh, do I need to bring my incense and candles also? Uh, why is it called the slaughterhouse? Well, no mind is good. <laughs> you say no mind is good. But you did it the one yourself. Oh. But as long as we are not expecting any guests, we should be fine. Well, I like guests. Yes. The more the merrier. Oh, yes. Me, you wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like them because it gets really loud. Mm -hmm. Loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course, you know that yeah. is 1900. I know it, I know it. You just tell me how to do it. No, no, no. Seriously, seriously, seriously. What's your story? You know, guys like you have one, so. What do you mean, guys like me? <laughs> uh -huh. The perpetual heartbreakers? No. Well, um, for him, he doesn't have any story. See, ever since I've known Alvin, he's always been like this. He thinks because he never wants to get married, it's an excuse for him to keep sowing his oats in different women, okay. dropping it inside them. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Oh. Philandering up and down and breaking their hearts. You don't want to get married? Well, I, I, I don't. Hmm. Never. Never. Yeah, never. Well, <sighs> what... Is the essence <clears throat> in falling into that thing, that thing that's what we call what love? No, no, what's the point? No. I've been waiting to worry you. It's in the work here now. See, when God was creating you, he forgets put that in as part of your design, that word love. As in, it'd be like say emergency happened for heavy. Guy, guy. Emergency happened, so he just come out, he leave you. Eh? See, because bro, you are not capable of falling in What's love. Up now? Up now? What's up now? Talk less of staying in love. <laughs> come on. That's even far fetched. <laughs> so, guy, I'm saying the truth. Why do you roast mm. me? Why do you roast me like this? Because I want her to know exactly who you are. Yes. Mm hmm So she's not gonna make mistake things say you get sense. So much for friendship. <laughs> I love you regardless. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay. Guys, I <clears throat> I need to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you need to use it. <laughs> oh my god. Someone looks drunk already. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. I am not drunk. I'm just tipsy. And I feel good. <laughs> Uh, well, you know we need to leave already because we're traveling uh, tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, it seems like you're not drinking. I'll be a gentleman. Ah, okay. I'll hurry up. All right. Um, see, uh, listen. Listen, I am not bad as he makes me appear. Huh? Um. Uh, <clears throat> don't believe him, man. Distance, please, okay? Distance. Mm -hmm. What's in the swap now? Distance! Yeah! It's, it's, it's strong. Yeah. You, <laughs> you're not drinking? No, I don't drink much. Oh, you're kind of a, a mocktail person. I agree. Oh. Hey, Coco. Hey, no, 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 come down, come down, come down, come down and talk to me. Come down. What? This is happening. <laughs> Honey, why? Oh, God. Why? Because he's dead. And he's dead because of me. And he's dead no, because no, of no, me. No, he's dead because of 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 me. No, he's dead
because of me. He went on that trip because of me. Come down. <sighs> it's not your fault. It is my fault. It's my fault. I should have stopped him. I should have stopped Ali from going on that trip. God. <laughs> Oh, oh God! And he said, and he said, no, no. Come down, hey, it's fine. Come down. He's dead no. because of me. He's dead because of me. It's not your fault. And he died because of me. He died because of me. <laughs> Things went on like that for weeks on end. Until one day, it wasn't as bad anymore. We weren't as sad anymore. Did I overdo it? Yes, you overdid it, of course. Come on. Look, 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 look. you're exposed. I said to dress for a house party and not a boyfriend hunt party. Isn't that the same thing? How is it the same thing? How is it the same thing? Besides, I don't have intentions of allowing those boys at the party to come close to you. No, never. Oh, my goodness. You know, you sound just like Annie. Except I'm sensing something underneath the tone. So what is it? What, what, what are you sensing? Stop it! Come on! Tell me! Tell, tell me! What is it? Stop, what is it? Tell, stop it! Tell me! Stop it! Stop it! You know I don't like being tickled. You know. I like you when you're jumping. So tell me. Tell me! Stop it! No, I'm not in the mood. So just stop it. <laughs> You should go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You have an interesting story. You do. Don't you? Absolutely. I'm curious about something, though. What? Why do you think Anieta was so protective of Coco? What else? It's what every guy in the right senses would do. But you have a friend like me. Well, I mean, the old me. Do you think that was it, Coco? Yeah. 
It had to be. Hmm. One more question before we end this session. Alvin, was there a reason you decided you did not want to get married? Say, something that happened when you were a child? No, no, I, I just um, figured I wasn't cut out to be a family man. And that changed when you met Coco. Oh, I told her I started to fucked. Of course. Just cross-checking. Hmm. So, I believe that's it for today. I can say we've made progress. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. Onwara. Me too. Right. <laughs> Let me see you. Oh well, no, that won't be necessary. I'll see myself out. Have a good day. Me too. What was that about? What was what? That attitude right there. There's something about that woman that pisses me off. What do you mean? She was praying too much. Of course she has to pray. That's what we're paying her for. That's her job. Well, I don't like it. You signed up for this, so deal with it. I need some air. you drink? Uh, did I drink? Uh, did I? A little. I thought we spoke about you drinking and driving. Yeah, I just had um, one shot. Yeah, one shot. This doesn't smell like a shot to me. <laughs> I know what you're doing, huh? I know what you're doing. So now I cannot go out and have a drink without your permission. Now I cannot go out there and have a drink without you nagging me about it. Right? You're drunk, Alvin. Hmm. 
Go and have a cold bath and stop acting like a deprived teenager. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, true. Well, I think that I am a deprived teenager. Yeah, yes, because uh, you think I don't know what you're doing. Like I have not made love to my wife in a whole week, one week. Like I have not tasted my wife. <laughs> So now you are depriving me to make a point, right? No. No, Alvin. This is me mm. refusing to sleep with a man who doesn't trust me. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? You're the one who thinks I do not know what you're doing. Come on, come on. Hey. Okay, relax, baby. Don't, don't! Seven. Don't! You, baby me. You know, I was on the pill. I am on the pill because I would never go off it without telling you. But here, the moment I brought up the topic of us having a child, what did you do? You started using a condom anytime we made love. Oh. Every single time, Alvin. What do you think? And I will go get pregnant and try to tie you down with a baby, right? Oh, come on. It's not what you think. It is exactly what I think. Hey. You see, we do not have a problem. Hey. Hey. Hey, baby. 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 Oh. Today, I was going to ask you both some very personal questions, but I've changed my mind. I'd like to get to know you a bit more, separately this time. Separately? Yes, Alvin. And I'd like to start with your wife. Coco, what's your favorite part of this house? The kitchen. Ah, oh, I take it you like to cook then? I do. Mm. I could tell from your stories. Could you make me a snack? Anything. I'll help. Sure. Awesome. I'll take you to the kitchen. <clears throat> Alvin. Yes. Uh, I hope you don't mind getting me some apples down the street. There are apples in the fridge. I prefer fresh, unrefrigerated ones. Please? There is an angel standing next to me Just a smile and there's no way back There is a charming beauty calling me Reaching for, for my heart There is an angel standing next to me There is something awfully suspicious about this woman And there's no way back There is a charming beauty calling me
Your cousin, Aniette. Could you tell me more about your relationship with him? Annie. Annie was more than a cousin to me. Did I tell you I have an older brother? No, you did not. I do. But there were things I could never tell him that I told Annie. Things I could never tell anyone for that matter. What kind of things? You know, things a girl would only tell someone they know would protect them with their life. Hmm. Could these things have anything to do with the reason he left and never returned? What do you... I mean, Coco. Like there are some things you're not telling me. Things I think you haven't even told your husband. It's not important. Okay. Let me decide what is important and what isn't. I'd like to help you save your marriage. But I cannot do that if I do not really know who you are or the things that made you. Talk to me. What happened? Where do I begin to tell you this, Annie? How do I even bring myself to tell you this? Hey, hey, listen. You remember what I told you? Hmm? You can always tell me anything. Because I would always be by your side. Huh? So what, what is going on? Is this something I can help with? I'm pregnant, Addy. And the thought of it disgusts me to my bones. Okay. <clears throat> first things first. Who is the father? And is he aware that you're carrying his child? John, I know he's not aware I'm pregnant. Oh, wait, wait. Is it, is it the same John that I know? Coco, come on, Coco! How, how could you do this? How could you get involved with that time? I would never! He left me! What? He did what? Mama said he raped me. I swear I am going to kill that bastard no, and I'm going to jail for it. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to find him. No, no, honey, please, honey, please don't do this, okay? Please, I didn't come here for you to 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 do this. Please, if I, if I wanted to, I would have not told my brother. But please, no, I, I'm so ashamed to tell anyone. Why are you ashamed? Why are you ashamed? You did nothing wrong. If anyone should be ashamed, is that dead man that should be ashamed? Honey, I brought this on myself. I went for a party I shouldn't have gone for. It is not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. Who oh, believe me? I believe you. I always would believe you. That's all I need. Annie. Annie, please. I need to get rid of this pregnancy. Annie, please, I can't do this. 
Please, I'm begging you. Please, honey. Please. Please. Okay. Please. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. If it's what you want, no problem, okay? I got you. Huh? It's okay, come here. Sorry. It's okay. Someone at the door. Uh, don't worry, you'll go away. How are you feeling? I'm okay. You know who it is? Yes, I do. Uh, doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Alright, give me a sec. Guy, how far? How far is he? How far? What's going on? Oh, yeah, no. It's in. Ah, <laughs> why are you in the locker room? Not the entire house. No, bro, 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 it's not a good time, okay? Some other time. Not right now. Not a good time. Ah! It's in. Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Calm down, see? Yeah. They go to your house, I'll go check on you later. Bro, they go to your house, I'll go check on you. You see your turn, man. Huh? Guy! Are you okay? Are you alright? Tell me how. Easy, 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 easy. Just hold on to me. Mm. Hold on. It'll be fine, okay? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Easy. Fine. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 The doctor said you should take this. Should help. Hmm? Just take it. You'll be all right. There you go. Honey, and I swear you're not going to Uyo because of me. I already told you I have business in Uyo. I'll leave things the way they are. But that does not mean that if I run into him, I won't leave a punch on his you face. See what I'm saying, Annie, please. Yeah, but I promise I'm not going to do anything unreasonable. I won't do anything that would expose you to any kind of ridicule, okay? I promise. Yeah. Promise. Just have, a, have a safe trip. I love you, okay? Love you so much. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Huh? I should have stopped him from going on that trip. I would never stop thinking he died because of me. You know that's not true. What if it is? What if he went on that trip because of me? Well, we'll never know. But one thing I do know is that your cousin would never want you to bear this heavy burden of guilt. Am I correct? You are. Good. Now that I know the reason you did not want children in the first place, can we talk about what made you change your mind? So, I got a job to redecorate a couple's home. They were around my age and they had two adorable kids. One was three and the other 
of over a year old. On one of the days while I was working there, I felt a tug at the bottom of my dress. I looked down and I saw the one year old staring up at me with the most beautiful smile I have ever seen. Oh, how it missed, knocked the wind out of my lungs. What happened? She said, Mama. She called me Mama. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe for a good five seconds. It was. How did it make you feel? Forgiven. I felt I had been forgiven. I know what happened to me was terrible with that child. It wasn't that child's fault. That child was a victim as much as I was. And he didn't deserve what I did to it. So when that child called me mama, I felt like the heaven had forgiven me, like my child had forgiven me. If I understand you, the reason you were agreed not to have children isn't because you don't really want children, but because you felt you were not worthy. Yes. I felt I didn't deserve another chance. Well, that particular encounter gave me a new hope. And all I want right now is, is to have a bunch of children and just love them with all my heart. That's all I want. Mm. I understand. However, if push comes to shove, can you really walk away from Alvin if he still refuses to have children? Never knew that love could feel so good. Like once in a lifetime, you changed my world. Now everything is okay because the love we share is true. Never knew that love could feel so good. Like once in she likes her apples fresh and unrefrigerated. Now everything is okay because the one love we share is true. You're back. Yes. I got your apples. Oh, such a gentleman. Well, let's just hope you won't be sending me out on any more errands. 
the only thing close to an errand will be me asking for some of your time. Well, maybe when you're done with here. We're done. So. Can we go now? There's something ethereal about watching the sunset. It's a beautiful thing to watch. It reminds you that times changes, and so do people. Would you say you have changed, Alvin? Say, from the man you were before you met Coco. You know, if anyone has said that I will be the man that I am today, I would have punched them in the face. Why? Because I believe that I was incapable of giving any woman what she wanted. And I mean, marriage, family. And yet, here you are, married. Isn't it funny? What made you change your mind, Alvin? Why did you decide to get married? Have you ever been in love? Uh, well, I... I cannot say that I haven't. Then you would understand the need to want to protect that person. Are you saying you married Coco to protect her? Yes. And no. Care to elaborate? You know, I figured that there was something that I needed to do. You know? I have been with Coco for some time. I mean, like she didn't care about anything. Even though we've been together for two years. To think that I liked her and I liked it because it was convenient for me. And I, I, I also liked it because she didn't, she wasn't like any other woman who wanted other marriages and family and all that but something happened and i had to slip up um you know it's actually nice to know that i've got such a beautiful and intelligently that's many <laughs> wow <laughs> well it's nice to know that you do well at flattery no 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 i didn't mean to flatter you just that it's hard to see women who are both smart and intelligent. No offense intended. None taken. Uh, it's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I've been meaning to ask. Uh, if I may ask, are you single? No. I'm in a relationship. In a relationship? Mm. And he hasn't coughed you yet? Uh, not yet, but I don't care, honestly. I don't really care. Um, don't say that every woman cares, just that you uh, convince yourself you don't want to come off as, as desperate. Yes, because I don't know why a man would take so long to take you to the altar. If you are mine, trust me, I wouldn't wait too long to take you to the altar. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess my boyfriend is taking his time, so. Oh, your boyfriend. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's speak of the devil. Hi, babe. Hi. 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 Um, baby, this is Shagun, our new neighbor, and Shagun, my boyfriend, Alvin. Hello, Alvin. Uh. Nice car. Oh, um, thanks, ma'am. Well, I'm not as lucky as you are. How do you mean? 
I mean, you've got a diamond, and I wouldn't mind trading her for this. <laughs> oh my God, you are funny. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not trading. Of course, nobody would. I'm glad I made that clear to you. All right, we're cool. Let's go. Uh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> things. You're moving in with me permanently. Wait, what? Why? I am not going to leave you in this compound with that Shegu guy. <laughs> Hold on. Firstly, you do know we are staying in different apartments, right? Secondly, you cannot just tell me to move in with you. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm not just any man in your life. Babe, you know what I'm talking about. I cannot live with a man I'm not married to. All right, fine. Let's get married. What? Yes, let's get married, and I mean it. Let's get married. If we leave now, I'm sure we can get to Equi Registry on time. Because I'm not going to leave you in this compound with that carnivorous looking guy. No, never. I won't do that. Come on, just, just, just go in and. Uh, Change into something, let's go. Please, baby. Baby, what's wrong? It took you so long. Do you know how long I've waited for you to ask? Baby, baby, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. But why didn't you just say anything? What would you have me say? That I wanted us to get married because I can't stand being apart from you? Yes, and I would have appreciated that. You? You who made it very clear that you didn't want to get married. Well, you could have given me a clue. You could have said something. I thought you were okay with how things were. I was. Until I wasn't. Babe. Are yeah. you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you're not doing this because yes, of me? Yes, I'm sure. Listen. Babe. I've been thinking about you. And just like you, I can't go to sleep at night without you by my side. I want to do this life thing with you. Be my wife. With the exception of children? Absolutely, baby. Of maybe. course I will marry you. Yeah. Okay, now pack your things. <laughs> we have to get married. It's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting married. Where's my ring, though? We got married a week after. And now you're getting a divorce. That is never going to happen. But it is happening. Why are you even saying that? I don't be paying you to make sure that that doesn't happen. You are. And I'm doing my job to the best of my ability. But you are making it difficult for me, Alvin. Since the start of our meetings, you have been holding back. I cannot Help your marriage if you remain closed off. I tell you things. I never help back. I share things. Not enough. And not the important things. This is more important to your wife than you know. What do you mean? Is there something going on that I don't even know about? More than you can imagine. What is it? It's not my place to say. However, what I can do is bring you both to a place where you can talk about it. 
But in order to do that, I need you to talk to me. Why shall I even begin? <laughs> that question in itself is a beginning. Thank you. If there's anything else you need to talk about, please let me know. Okay. I'm glad I will. I didn't realize how much I needed this. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, guys. I'm still here. <laughs> um, I would just uh, take my shower. Good night, Diola. Good night. Is everything okay with him? He'll be fine. Should I be worried? Quite the opposite. But I suggest you give him some time. All right. So, I'll be seeing you two tomorrow. And hopefully, tomorrow will be our last session. Really? <laughs> hopefully. Good night. There is an angel standing next to me. Just a smile. There's no way back There is a charming beauty calling me Reaching for, for my heart There is an angel standing next to me Just a smile and there's no way back there is a charming beauty calling me Reaching for, for my heart Never knew that love could feel so good Like once in a face you married. How do you mean? Are you pretending that she didn't tell you? Oh. She didn't really tell you. Did she tell you anything about me you haven't heard from me yourself? There is your answer then. Then maybe I have to tell you myself. I don't know if I have the confidence to, but... I'll, I'll go first. I too have something important I need to tell you.
Do you remember how protective of me Annie was in the beginning? Yes, of course I do remember. Did you ever stop to ask why? I wasn't exactly an ideal man for any woman at the time, and he knew. He knew, and no one else did. I honestly didn't think so much of his actions. Fair enough. But there is more to that. I came to Lagos because I was pregnant and needed to get rid of it immediately. What? Why did you just do it? Please. What the what is it? Let me finish. Go! Please. A move to my coming to Lagos. I was raped by someone I knew. What the hell? It was, it was my fault. What? It was my fault. Jeez. It was my fault. No, no. No, listen. Yes. No, 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 no. No. Yes, it was my fault. I knew who he was when I, I put myself in the situation and made it possible for him to, to do that to me. Listen, listen, baby, baby, it was not your fault, okay? If there's anyone to be blamed, then it's that bastard that did that to you. That was the same thing that he said to me. And that's the same reason why I lost him. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> And he knew who the guy was. And he travels to you to confront him. I'm sure he travels because of me. And you see, it's no, my no, fault. No, 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 no. It's it not is your my fault. fault. It's not it your is fault. my fault. Babe, hey, hey. It's not your fault. It okay. Of all I know, I know that Annie traveled to you because he had business and had nothing to do with you. And I swear on my life that I know that. Baby. Hey, baby. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about how you feel. I swear, I didn't. I had no idea that you are believing with such heavy guilt. Did I complain? Huh? Still, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad that I could help clear that long decade of misconception. But hey, listen to me. 
See, babe. Don't you ever keep anything from me for that long, okay? I could say the same thing to you too. Babe, I have never seen you this rattled before. So what exactly is it that had you shook up so much today? My past. My past, I wish that I... I should have buried a long time ago. You know, Annie used to say this to me, and I'm saying it to you right now. I will always be by your side. Not when you know what I have done. Even then. I killed someone. I grew up with an abusive father. And when I say abusive, I mean abusive one. And it was not only limited to my mother, but it extended to me and my brother. My father would hit us at the slightest provocation when I was 13. Something bad happened. And when I say bad, I mean real bad. My father beat my mother until a untimely death. And he claimed that she slipped and hit herself and died. And everybody believed. Or at least maybe they pretended. Because he was someone. Someone who had affluence. And guess who his next punching bag was? Me and my brother. But me mostly. Because my brother was just four years old. See, for six months, I have lived in hell. And I have wished and prayed for a miracle. I was scared. I was scared and I was scared. It wasn't because of the beating, no. But I was scared of the man that I was turning out to be. I mean, like I would smack my little brother at the slightest provocation when I ask him to do something and he doesn't, I would just smack him. And I did all of that out of frustration. Until one day, when I did something real bad, because I used him to feel better, maybe I did something. I hit him real bad. And I killed him. Now tell me, what do you see? A monster? No. No. 
No, look at me. 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 You're not. You're not a monster. You're only a victim of your circumstance. You were just a child. Oh, babe. I've known you way too long to know that you are not a monster. I knew you would never do something like that intentionally. So tell me. Tell me. Tell me what happened. It was a bad day for my father. And if it's a bad day for my father, that means it's a bad day for me. Oh, God. I have goosebumps. It's okay. 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 <laughs> so I was sitting now on the staircase. Licking my wounds after a tour beating for my father. I was crying out loud. I was broken. I was I was weak. And my brother Obiora came to me, tugging my shirt, holding me, asking me, telling me that he was hungry. I shoved him off. I remember that I pushed him off because I was I was lost. I was out of this world. And he kept crying. And I shoved him off. And he fell off the stairs. And while landing, he was still. Because he died before London. I was scared. I was confused. I was scared. I, I, I couldn't have called anybody. I couldn't have told anybody. I was scared. So I had to run away. I had to run away. I never come back. But I did after a few years. And I let my father die. <laughs> and then I knew that my brother was gone for good. I killed my blood brother. I killed my blood brother. No, 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 it wasn't intentional, okay? It wasn't so sorry. I'm sorry you had to go.
I'd like to believe you two are completely open with one another now. How does that make you feel? Coco, you go first. Free. I think it makes me feel free. If I had known that speaking to my husband would help me see things more clearly, I would have done it sooner. And you, Alvin? How I feel? I don't think I can articulate it quite well. But I'm beginning to think that maybe, just maybe I am not a monster after all. No. Babe, you are not a monster. I've told you. Okay, you really, truly deserve to have children of your own. She's right. What happened with your brother was a mistake that you have spent your whole life paying for. I think you deserve a chance to live to be happy. Forgive yourself. And this goes to both of you. Forgive yourselves. This is a process and we'll get there one step at a time. But one thing I want you to know is that your brother and your cousin would not want you to live like this. Never knew that love could feel so good Like once in a lifetime You changed my world Now everything is okay Because the love we share is true Sir. Good afternoon, how may I help you? Uh, I'm here to give this package to Mrs. Koko Onara. Oh, that's my wife. Uh, I will receive that on her behalf. Thank I'm you. Sorry, I can't give it directly to you. I was meant to give it directly to her. I'm instructed. Are you from the court? Because uh -huh. I told we settled that already. No, I'm not from the court, sir. I was meant to give it directly to her. That's the instruction, sir. Come on in. Okay, 
Um, let me get my wife, yeah? Okay, no problem. No. Oh, honey, come on, babe. I told you not to get out of bed, huh? You know, this is dangerous. I'm fine, okay. Easy, easy, uh, easy. You're too stubborn, baby. Thank you so much, Obira Omar, for bringing this with me. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? Like, what name did you just mention? Yeah. Obiora Kennedy Onora. That's my name right now. Yeah. He's my Your brother. He didn't die, Alvin. He didn't. <laughs> You're dead. I'm not dead. You can see me, I'm still alive. I'm alive, brother. Look at me. Just take a look at me. This is what I've become. Mm -hmm. I'm driving DHL, driving what? I'm trying to make a living for myself, brother. You left me. Oh God. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? You've done everything you could do in your powers, brother. I'm sorry, brother. I, I, I was confused. Confused about what, brother? See, 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 everything just happened fast and I had to flee. <laughs> I was frustrated. I was, I was scared. I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. Please. You're oh, so heartless, brother. Please forgive me. Please don't touch me. <laughs> you're wicked. I never knew I had this kind of a brother. Stop touching me. Stop touching me, brother. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Calling me, reaching for. 